Hello everybody, how y'all doing today? Just uh, thank you guys, welcome back in. I hope everyone's having a blessed day. All right, so I have another uh, old tool here from my toolbox here. Uh, these are our Craftsman uh, bolt extractors. These are called, the, uh, I think they're called power outs. Um, power out bolt screw extractors. These are for damaged bolts or screws. It helps you remove them uh, if they're rounded off or maybe if they're broke. Uh, these are made from a high strength carbon steel. Carbon steel is pretty good for um, getting out bolts because it's uh, you said it's supposed to be pretty hard. But it, uh, it, this is a five piece set. Now I don't know where this is uh, manufactured at, but um, there's really nothing on the uh, box here. That does come with a number zero, a one, two, a three, and a five. Uh, we're going to take a look here at the number five. Uh, they all do come laser etched with the Craftsman name on there and the logo. And these are for either you know, your power drills, and a power drill. You could put it in a nut driver or whatever. Uh, there are spiral fluted and they are six sided. So there's uh, six different flutes in here. And as you can see down inside there, uh, machine work. It's pretty decent, not too bad. Um, so we got that for you here. We're just going to go ahead and uh, see, check out this case. It does come with a nice blue molded case uh, with this little slide lock here and a single hinge across the back. Now I've had this thing for another set I've had just for many years and never really used it. So I figured I'd just uh, make a little video about it. it. Does come with this instruction piece here? It says uh, match remover bolt to head size. So I guess you would see what size whatever bolt you're trying to uh, take out. So it, uh, you can be able to grip it. It says insert one-fourth shank remover into power drill and or whatever you want to use, a nut driver or whatever. Place, place firmly into the bolt head and it says to turn it at a low uh, speed below 10 RPM. So you want to use these things super low. You don't want to crank them up super high because they could cut into the material you're trying to take out and just uh, strip it out even more to where you won't even be able to get it out. So uh, go ahead and we'll... Uh, See if I can find something. We'll go ahead and give these a try because I really haven't really used these before. Okay. Welcome back. So I got this number two here. If you guys can see that. Craftsman number two. Now these are all laser etched as I was saying. But I got this uh, just a regular screw here. I got it in here inside the vise. And I got it cranked down pretty hard. Now it says to find one that will fit over top of it. So this one here it's got pretty good. And it's pretty got a good bite onto it so i think this one will work for good for taking a just a round screw out and if it'll work on this round screw it should work on a rounded bolt but uh so we're just going to go ahead and i got the small uh this milwaukee that we're going to put it inside and it says to go slow with it so so as you can uh as you can see there it did uh did take it out and then you can see the threads they are a little bit all uh, mushroomed and smashed from where I had it in there Now that thing you can see up inside there it's in there pretty tight so it got a good bite on that but uh that should be pretty easy to get it back out you would just reverse it the other way and now it should uh untake the unbite it because it's bitten to the uh, bolt right now so that would be it but that's it guys just wanted to share that with you these like these will work pretty good, but they only are going to fit certain size bolts. It's only five to uh, choose from, so it's not going to give you a, a big, wide variety. But that's it, guys. All right, guys. So here's the uh, here's the bolt after I uh, pulled it out of the extractor. As you can see, it bit into the top of that head. Pretty good. Left some nice little bite marks in there. And then here's the extractor after it's uh, the first time using it, and the teeth all look pretty good on the inside there. There's nothing marred or bent or uh tore up so it's pretty decent like i said i had that and that vice pretty good so these guys uh, pretty much should work good for whatever you want to do around the house of our certain size bolts like i said they're not going to fit everything but gives you five different sizes to choose from you might find something in here that might work good for you but that's it guys i'm going to say thank you god bless you and have a great evening good night